Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your April 2019 general reading. We're looking at the first half of April here from the 1st to the 15th. So thank you to everyone who's joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers and welcome back. Any followers, subscribers, thanks for taking the time to tune in today and for sending in all your support, feedback, and comments. A thank you to all of my clients out there as well, regular and new. I always like to extend my gratitude for keeping me so busy with personal readings. And as many of you who follow me know, if you are interested in setting up a personal reading with me, you can click on the description link below for more info and contact details, or you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage, click on the little about button there. Email me directly at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. I can usually respond to your initial request with more info within the same day or the first 24 hours. And setting up a re reading is uh, pretty good too. I do readings full time, five to six days a week. It is all that I do. So I'm pretty diligent at uh, working with both my schedule and yours to get you readings as quickly uh, or in as timely a fashion as possible. So send me an email if you're interested. We'll go from there. All right, moving right into this reading. This reading is for the Earth sign of Capricorn for the first half of April 2019. Uh, if you know your rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign, watch those as well for additional clarification. As many of you know, general readings always resonate a little differently for everybody watching. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what the first half of April has in store for you. Okay, we begin with the King of Swords, followed by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the Five of Wands. From the bottom of the deck, overall energy and focus for the first half of April is the Knight of Cups. So we have it looks like an offer or an opportunity coming in. Uh, it, it looks like there's an opportunity for a tangible new beginning here with the King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles would represent an earthly, practical, tangible new beginning. Sometimes shows up for moving, relocating, starting a new job. Uh, it's clarifying the King of Swords. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra person, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or somebody who manifests uh, like this. A very direct communicating, uh, a very direct form of communication. Um, I think that you need to exercise a little bit of insight and wisdom over this tangible new beginning, which the King of Swords really would. On Just on an energetic level, the King of Swords is somebody who is at the top of his game, which is Swords, air energy thoughts, mental, cerebral, intellectual energy, somebody who values truth and insight and clarity even above his own emotions, meaning he'll see the truth of a situation and make his decision based on that, what is best, what is truthful, what is right, even if his heart tells him to, you know, want a, a something different. Um, so it could be coming from uh, somebody who's manifesting like the King of Swords, showing up as a male, but could be female. In a general reading, I, I don't get too gender specific or sign specific because there's so many of you watching. Uh, it's a truthful, sincere uh, offer or opportunity that's coming in. And crowning the energy for the first half of April, Capricorn is the Knight of Cups, which, you know, Knights typically represent the speed at which situations move, offers and opportunities. Cups is water energy, which is about our emotions and feelings. So it, it feels like kind of a combination of, there's some kind of offer or offer, offer opportunity coming in. Uh, it, for some of you, it might be in job, work, career. It could be the opportunity to start a new job, maybe moving or relocating to start a new job. It could be, um, you know, somebody making the offer to move in with them to start a, a, an actual practical life together, uh, which is why the underlying energy is emotional. Uh, although the beginning itself has a lot of practical new beginning energy with it. And it looks like it promises some kind of stability and security because we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles used to be considered the inheritance card. It represents stability. It's earth energy, which represents stability, security, continuity, the structure of our lives, the long, slow accumulation. It speaks of 
uh, of security and stability, which comes from longevity, a lot of history and work uh, in it, whether it's financial and material wealth or, you know, a long term stable emotional relationship as well. Whether this is a relationship offer or a concrete job working moving offer, it it promises it it the potential is really high for longevity and stability in this but there is kind of an underlying sense of conflict about it because that ten of pentacles is clarified by the five of wands which is a card that can represent internal external conflict perhaps conflict with another person or people uh, it could be I'm just I, I actually just got a very specific message I feel somebody it looks like somebody has had a recent job offer or opportunity that's going to require moving and relocating for this new opportunity uh, but it's causing some conflict maybe with a partner whether it's you getting the offer or your partner getting the offer uh, maybe it challenges the maybe you're very stable and rooted where you are or in this partnership there's a, been a lot of stability and security where you're at and the conflict is coming because uh, there may be like moving and relocating necessary within this offer and you know there's some struggle or some conflict over do we want to do this is this the right thing to do maybe one person wants to do it and the other person doesn't um, it could be that for I I'm actually getting a message that it is that for at least someone out there who is watching and listening to this uh, some of you it may be a relationship offer of some kind I feel like for some of you the conflict is coming from also particularly if this is relationship you're already involved in something or rooted and stable you have some kind of long-term thing you're already in whether it's in a a job or a relationship and this offer coming in is from another source or another person or another company something of that sort and you because however this resonates for you in whatever area of your life this resonates for you because in a general rating it's going to be different for everybody whatever the offer or opportunity coming in is you're going to have to in order to take it you would have to end something or wrap up something that has a lot of history and time and longevity put into it already and therein I think lies uh, the conflict you know what do I do what's the best thing to do so let's pull an advice or guidance card Capricorn advice is the hanging man so it looks like spirit is saying at least for the first half of April if at all possible this is not the time to make a decisive action oriented decision uh, just yet on this because the hanging man doesn't actually the hanging man understands that even though the place he's hanging in might be a bit awkward or uncomfortable he might want to rush in and make a decision and, and just get things clear he, sometimes this card can represent that everything is not completely known yet there are still things playing out that need to play out and your job is to just kind of be here be sit in that watch as things play out as more things or more information is being revealed and maybe try and see it from a different perspective or from a, a variety of different pers perspectives you know to consider all the possible uh, ramifications of whatever choices there are that you could make in this situation but not to act on it just yet um, that appears to be the advice for that's the advice from spirit for at least this first half of April we'll see what comes out when we do the mid month and look at the last half of April so and try not to feed too much of this five of wands conflict energy too because this can represent just going over the same thing over and over again with another person or a group of people um, uh, to the point that you get so stuck on what you're fighting about that you're not even really sure what is the important thing nobody wins nobody loses but there's no clear solution either so try not to feed into too much of this take breaks from this too which is also what the hanging man uh, would advise as well so Capricorn that pretty much wraps up your April 2019 general reading uh, for the first half of April the first through the 15th uh, 
if any of you are interested in scheduling a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, particularly if this resonated for you, uh, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be most happy to work with you. I do love and romance, of course, compatibility charting, career work and finance, investment readings, gift readings. And I also offer six and 12 month life overviews, which take a look at what's coming in your life in all the main areas over the next six or 12 months, depending on how far ahead you want to look. Uh, you can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy, and that link is also provided. Uh, there's a few different reading options on Instant Go too, uh, although a lot of my clients seem to prefer its use for uh, quick answers to the quick, easy questions uh, for more in-depth or complicated or complex issues. Probably more traditional readings uh, are best. So a few things to choose from. So Capricorn, I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the April 2019 mid-month general readings where we'll take a look at the last half of April. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.